I'm Juan Jose Campanella. I'm the director and executive producer of the show. First seasons are always about creating the world. Move along. Sorry. Second season, it's where you know the characters already, so you can start working with their complexities, with their relationships, you can start enriching them, and really go deep into a character and take your time to change that character. You and I trust our instincts. That is who we are, it's who we've always been. Well, it's yeah. not working! You think I don't know that? We find the Bowman family completely uh, disseminated. Will is in Santa Monica looking for his lost son, Charlie. He's looking for a boy. He's my son. Bram has been put in jail. Two minutes. <laughs> Gracie is being educated in the green zone. Gracie's work requires peace of environment. Katie has been left alone. The family is all separate. No one can protect us because he knows how to play the game. He is going to help That's Bram. He just has to be smart it's about it. For Christ's sake, Katie, this isn't about you. You run around doing whatever you want, and damn the consequences. I'm trying to keep my family together. How's that working out for you? The new proxy on the block is a character who's very charismatic, but at the same time wants to rule the block with a much harder hand. I'm going to transfer some key personnel from the San Fernando block to Los Angeles, and I expect your full cooperation. Here's the list. <laughs> no. I believe in my people and my approach, and I will not be undermined. We're going to see things turning for the worse. We're going to get very much into the territory of an oppressive state while trying to keep a facade of freedom and liberty and, and good things for everybody. And the main question and dilemma that we're posing is, when you live under an oppressive state, do you have to leave your principles in order to protect your family, to save yourself? So we want to relate the show, even if it's an alien invasion and an extraterrestrial invasion, to what happens in reality in many countries that live through this situation. One of the characteristics of season two is the magnified role of surveillance. There are cameras everywhere. People are encouraged to tell on their neighbors, on their friends. Little by little, without you noticing, and you become an agent of surveillance yourself. That turns you into a spy for the government. I need the identity of your source. The decisions that the characters have to make, family over principles, they leave scars. They leave scars in their psyche and they leave scars in their relationships. And trying to deal with all that, it's very rich to explore. The second season surpasses the first one. It doesn't happen all the time. <laughs>